One of the main reasons I decided to leave Joy Talk was because they promised me when I signed on the second year that if I worked for the whole year, in August, you receive 65% of your contract pay, your normal salary. If you don't work a single day in the summer, in August, I worked two weeks in August because of COVID. So 2020 was the year of COVID breakout and a lot of the scheduling changed. So I had to work two weeks in August. So if I'm working two weeks in August, I should be able to get, I was thinking at least 80%, but I should get my whole paycheck, right? No, not with this company. Go out to get groceries a little bit and I pay all my bills and Taxes were taken out of my paycheck as usual. My rent was taken out as usual. And I look at my bank book, I'm like, oh, this is great. I still got $1,300. You know, juice on mom, that's not bad. All right, I, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Still, you know, buy some games, do whatever I want. My ex-girlfriend looks at my bank book. She's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Baby, baby no, no, no. This is uh, Ichiman San's in here. <laughs> so roughly, $130. And I was like, no, 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 no. Yeah. So I only received Rokuman for my last paycheck at Joy Talk, which is about $550 to $600. Ridiculous. Why? Because they still only gave me 65% of my paycheck, which is crazy because I still worked two weeks in August. So this point that you put in your contract doesn't matter anymore. This you should have amended. It was bad enough that we had to go to work during the pandemic every day, taking the train, taking the bus, had the potential of getting sick every single day. And I was very blessed to not have ever gotten COVID. I still have never had COVID, but the fact that I had to go to work every day and I couldn't work from home when I wanted to. They had to choose the days that I could work from home. It, it just really made no sense to me because there were no students in the school and I could do all of my preparations at home, yet they still forced us to go to the school physically. Even the principal was like, why are you here? What are you doing here when there's no students? <laughs> they said in the contract, 65% of your pay will be given to you only if you do not work for the entire month of August. I worked two weeks in August. I should be getting my full pay, right? I called them and I was like, I didn't get my whole paycheck. Do you know what the problem is? And I told them how much money I got. And they said, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. That's not enough money for you. The minute I heard that, I said, thank you very much. I'm going to give you my letter of resignation tomorrow. I am done with this company. Thank you and have a blessed night. Like, there's nothing to say after that. Nothing. Even the CEO called me the next day and said, are you sure? Oh man, I fussed him out. Like, I might have used some bad words to them. I repented after. Yeah, that wasn't cool. Last thing I want to say about that company is that they had very little to no understanding of how to hire people because they would get staff members who were completely cuckoo uh, and <laughs> they would promote people who were very insensitive, very rude, very disrespectful to the other ALTs. They would hire ALTs who were very self-centered and had zero experience with teaching, who had no ability to be open-minded to change. The whole point of teaching is to learn while you're teaching. So when you're teaching students, you're actually learning from the students as well because you know what can help them and they actually teach you what works and what doesn't work. So I've had many lessons where I taught things and the students were completely confused. And that was a learning lesson for me. Okay, I'm not gonna teach it like this uh, in the future. I'm gonna teach it in a different way. 
So when you're a teacher, you're also required to be willing to learn how to do it because it is all about methodology. It doesn't always work out the way you want it to work out. And a lot of those teachers were not good teachers at all. They're probably good people, terrible teachers. And then there were some people who were terrible people and terrible teachers. So <laughs> that's on Joy Talk. That's their fault because they had no sense of hiring overall consensus of the problem in Japan is when it comes to education, they don't care about if you really have teaching skills. They just care about if you have English ability. If you know how to speak English and you have something called a butt, then you can sit in a chair and then you can work on some lesson plans. And if you have two feet, then you can stand up and then dance around like a monkey and do the ABCs. So that's all they care about. People are tired of their students going to school and having teachers who don't know what they're doing. Slowly, Japan is changing for the better, but it's slow. And unfortunately, that is the way the Japanese culture works. That is why I left Joy Talk. And I've been wanting to do this video for a long time. I'm sorry if it's long, but I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I have a lot of music coming on the way. I have a lot of videos coming on the way about my experiences in Tokyo with making music, performing, and more English phrases I will be teaching, more music talk. A lot of things are coming to this channel, all right? So stay tuned. I will see you next time. This is Dorio TV. Dorian Andrew signing out. Doo -doo.